The Celebrity Apex is the newest ship in the fleet and we got the chance to cruise with her this fall before she made her move over to Florida. If you want to see daily vlogs of the ports we visited as well as showcases of the food, strange, infinite veranda, balcony, cabin and other activities, make sure you check out my library and please subscribe while you're here. This video is going to show you everything you need to know about the pool areas and the spa on this very sophisticatedly designed ship. The indoor pool area on the apex is called the solarium and it is between the outdoor pool and the spa so we're kind of starting in the middle here just so you can get your bearings. There are a few things I really liked about the indoor pool, the most important being that it was quiet inside. There was no music playing and I feel like every cruise ship needs a quiet area on the top deck but you can rarely find them. If you know of another ship that has a quiet area on the top deck, please let me know in the comments. Also, there was a really great air conditioning system in here, so it didn't have that like humid, stuffy, tropical chlorine atmosphere that you sometimes get in indoor pools. Tucked away in one corner of this space is the spa cafe and juice bar, but I never saw it open on our cruise. Take a look around and then we'll move on to the outdoor pool area. This is the gorgeous outdoor pool on the apex and look at how big it is. Are you paying attention Virgin Voyages? Are you paying attention Norwegian Cruise Line? This is what guests want in an outdoor pool. In contrast to the indoor pool, the outdoor pool is where the action happens. During the day there was lounge music playing, sometimes with the DJ, there's a bar and plenty of servers patrolling the area to bring you an iced tea and vodka for example. Hourly games like cornhole of all things and on the second level Level, you'll find two gigantic hot tubs whose supports are shaped like champagne glasses. The starboard side also houses a row of cabanas that are separated by this sort of wooden and fabric tunnel that looks like, I don't know, the throat of some kind of beast. Whereas the port side has a large sunbed area open to everyone. One thing I mentioned in my 10 things I didn't hate video is that there are towels everywhere. You don't have to check them out or leave a deposit. You can just grab them at will. They're everywhere and it's really nice. By the way, you also might want to grab this funny, fluffy, be right back towel from my Teespring store. Not only is it a conversation starter at the pool, it's also a great way to support the very unofficial travel guides. Check out the link in the description, please. The outdoor pool also has a burger bar called the Mast Grill, so you can grab a bite without having to give up your sun chair. We didn't eat there, but it always smelled fantastic when we walked past. At night, the atmosphere of the pool area changes into a party scene, with dance parties and other events sometimes being offered. I love the way this pool looks at night. It's so sophisticated, but it's also very fun and vibrant. Alright, let's move on to the spa and thermal suite. The spa is located at the front of the ship, just past the indoor pool. And if you want to get a tour of the spa facilities before deciding if you're interested in paying the extra charge for entrance to the thermal suite, make sure you stop by on the first day of your cruise. They will gladly show you around. We were staying in aqua class so we could go as often as we wanted as long as it wasn't full, but usually there is an extra charge. I'm pretty sure there are day passes and length of cruise passes, but if you want to know what they cost, you'll have to look on the celebrity website while you're booking or after you've booked your cruise. Marcus and I both visited the thermal suite a few times while on board and found it to be really nice. However, we have experienced larger saunas and steam rooms on other ships. Our cruise was really empty, so it wasn't a problem, but I could imagine the area getting kind of cramped when it's running at full capacity. We did not do any massages or other treatments in the spa because frankly the prices were just ridiculous. We're talking about like $150 for a 50 minute massage and I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that.
If you haven't already noticed from this video and others I've been posting about this ship over the last month, we thought it was mostly fantastic. Make sure you check out the other videos in this series and take a look at the links in the description and take a look at the links in the description and take a look at the links in the this <laughs> and take a look at the links in the description for some other interesting goodies.